The very first electric car in modern history to be developed under the Union Jack was the Mini E from 2010. Despite gaining some traction, that project never took off, and we had to wait nearly a decade to welcome a new EV from the Isles. Everything is about to change though since 2020 marks the year when British automakers are starting to take electrification seriously and are ready to present their vision of the future. In this episode, we will acquaint you with the freshest lineup of electric cars from the United Kingdom. Subscribe to the channel to support the electric revolution and let's get technical. Being the first mass production all electric car from the brand, the Mini Electric aka Mini Cooper SE has been rather successful at collecting pre-orders. Right after its 2019 launch, the hatchback received 45,000 reservations in Europe, followed by another 15,000 in the US. This can be explained by the model's appealing looks, peppy driving dynamics and of course, pricing that is rather affordable by the EV standards. If you count the incentives, the Mini Electric costs just a bit more than the middle trim of the ICE model, while being as richly equipped. Stock features include a 6.5-inch infotainment, heated seats, LED lighting, and leatherette upholstery. On the electrified side, the Mini offers 145 miles of driving, can hit 93 miles per hour, and takes 6.9 seconds to accelerate to 60. When this iconic sports car manufacturer was purchased by the Chinese company Geely in 2017, many got worried. Can you expect the same level of British finesse and craftsmanship from the brand? As it turns out, you can't. And the proof of that is the new Evaya Hypercar. Meant for a limited production of 130 units, this model is many things at once. The first all-electric Lotus, the lightest production EV hypercar in the world, and the only road-legal automobile from the company that sits on a single-piece carbon fiber monocoque construction. In addition, the Avaya will be one of the fastest electric cars on the market, developing speeds over 200 miles per hour and taking less than 3 seconds to accelerate to 62 miles per hour. Targeting the subcompact hatchback niche, the upcoming Corsi is Vauxhall's first all-electric car. It features a sporty and compact design with distinctive LED headlights, as well as sharp creases along the side and the rear. The base SE trim comes standard with a 7-inch infotainment that supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The powertrain consists of a 50 kilowatt hour battery and a 136 horsepower electric motor. Strong enough to accelerate the car from 0 to 60 in 7.6 seconds and to cover 209 miles between the plugs. As standard, the Corsa E supports a DC fast charging at 100 kilowatt, which brings the recuperation time down to 30 minutes. Internal combustion technology will not go out without a fight, so make sure to support the development of electric vehicles by liking this video. Watch this episode to the end and spread the word about awesome EVs. Let's proceed. The I-PACE SUV has been conquering the EV market since 2018 and has gained many favorable reviews and awards along the way. In 2021, Jaguar continues to boost the appeal of the model, introducing a few exterior refinements and adding new technical features. The SUV gets a cabin ionization system, more driver assist, and a new PV Pro infotainment with a dual modem, Wi-Fi hotspot, and over-the-air updates. The I-PACE also comes with a 3-phase 11-kilowatt wall box that replaces the previously standard 7-kilowatt one and allows to shorten home charging times to 8.6 hours.
Morris Garages was once an iconic manufacturer of sports cars, but starting from 2011, the revived company mostly specializes in production of crossovers and SUVs. The electric version of the ZS is the brand's most recent model in this niche. It is positioned as a family-oriented subcompact crossover and is offered in two trim levels, Excite and Exclusive. Both feature faux leather upholstery, solid 8-inch infotainment, climate control, and lane keep assist, while the top model gains a panoramic roof and additional driver assist, such as blind spot monitoring. There is a single drivetrain option, which is represented by a combo of a 44.5 kilowatt hour battery and an electric motor with 143 horses. Unfortunately, Aston Martin's financial situation has been worsening for the past couple of years, which forced the iconic James Bond brand to scale down its future ambitions. The first pawn to fall on the Brit's chessboard is the gorgeous electric sports sedan Rapid E. Co-developed since 2015 alongside Williams Engineering, the model was supposed to try on carbon fiber bodywork to improve aerodynamics by 8%. The two rear mounted electric motors would have ensured rear-wheel drive, 612 horsepower, 700 pound-feet of torque, and below 4 seconds 0 to 60 sprints. The Rapid E project initially included 155 units, a number not that big, so hopes are it will be resurrected in the nearest future. Already well known in its home city for the TX Electric Taxi and Shuttle, the London EV company expands its model range with a new cargo van model. The VN5 is advertised as an electric van that uses the brand's patented range extended technology. The main driving power is provided by a rear mounted electric motor that is juiced by a 31 kilowatt hour battery pack. This setup provides 58 miles of purely electric range, which would still cover most of the van's day to day driving needs. If you want to travel further, there is a 1.5 liter 3 cylinder gasoline engine that works to continuously recharge the battery and extend the driving capacity to over 300 miles. The VN5 has a convenient side door for loading cargo, offers 1825 pounds of payload capacity, and gets three modifications, Business, City, and Altima. With the EXP 100 GT concept, Bentley envisions a future where luxury mobility coexists with zero emissions powertrains. Made of aluminum and carbon fiber, the 19 feet long car has just two doors, which open upwards and provide a 6.5 feet wide entry into the cabin. The luxury coupe also gets continental inspired headlamps that complement the ultra posh grille featuring 6,000 LED bulbs. The propulsion comes from four electric motors that produce immense 1,106 pound-feet of torque and push the car to 60 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds. The XP100 GT is promised to cover 435 miles on a single charge and it can be driven in a fully autonomous mode. Lunaz is a recently established EV converter that plans to release the most iconic 1950s and 60s cars with all-electric drivetrains. Their first build in a Jaguar XK120 coupe based on the 1953 model and brought in motion by a twin-motor drivetrain and an 80 kilowatt hour battery. 
The system makes 375 horses and 516 pound feet, being able to accelerate the car to 60 miles per hour in under five seconds. The coupe keeps the original looks, but comes with LED lighting, modern infotainment and connectivity tech, as well as the latest traction and cruise control features. What are your thoughts about the presented electric vehicle lineup? Which one is your top pick? Answer these questions in the comments below and support the electric revolution by liking this video. By subscribing to the channel, you will always get notified about new EV videos. So smash that red button and ring the bell without hesitation. See you later.